All right, so here we have the uh, HP Touch Touch again, and I'm going to link through through uh, Spotify for the touchpad and specifically show off Keyroy's uh, Spotify HD tablet patch. Um, in the old video, I had a uh, bug in the portrait mode to where it kind of be half landscape, half portrait, and um, that has been addressed in this issue or in this uh, release. But I don't know. Um, how many people that affected because most other people did not have that problem. Let's go and jump into Spotify here. Um, startup is like normal. Uh, one thing you will see is that the text is a bit larger. Uh, he had to enlarge the text to get rid of the white bar that was uh, appearing when scrolling. So now when you go into a list uh, there's no no white bar. Um, I never had a white bar, but other people reported that they did. So um, that has been fixed. Furthermore, uh, say when you're searching here in the corner, um, you'll s notice that these albums are larger. They still scroll fine. Everything works well. Um, down here again, real. Uh, real clean, real easy to use, um, a great uh, layout for the, for a tablet. Um, say we want to search for a band, we'll go 9 inch nails. Here you've got everything through here, again the tracks, top tracks here. Um, and the last one it would only show uh, five albums. Um, now you've got five albums there and then show all 37. Now you can scroll through all of their um, albums. Which is uh, another improvement to the new patch. And let's go with... So here we go. down here in the left hand corner, pulls up and now playing. Um, say you want to skip the song, you can either press down here in the middle, you know, left, uh, forward and backward. I guess previous and next is the correct term. Uh, random and shuffle here in the other corner. You've got your back and your playlist button in the left. You've got, you can star it here. Uh, you can also pull up information on the band here. Uh, for instance, like there other related artists, whatever, this, other songs on the album, stuff with playlists, stuff like that, and share it also. Um, here you can skip through the songs by just dragging. Works very well. And then, um, one of the improvements he has made is it now works in portrait mode. Here we are in portrait mode, and you don't have the weird, funky uh, portrait and landscape mode trying to battle each other on this train. So, um, again, it works perfectly fine. Um, you can also, you know, add playlists like you would expect, um, and everything else works as you would think it would. Um, it mainly follows this same kind of layout here. Um, throughout the entire app, so I won't dive in too far because I covered that in my last video. But uh, with the new patch, it works perfectly fine. Um, there are no more uh, bugs left in the system, as far as I can tell. Um, and uh, props to Kuroi. Uh, he's done a bang-up job on this, and um, looks like there's a lot of people out there that are interested in this thing. So uh, if you're interested in trying to get this, um, you can look at, uh, just search on Google, just type in... Um, Spotify on HP Touchpad, and then um, there's a forum out there, I think on PreCentral, that um, has the HD uh, patch on it. Uh, there's actually a few different HD patches that are in the works, so um, this one is by far the most um, I use, because uh, Spotify is incredible, but you do um, have to have a premium account to run Spotify, because this is considered a mobile version. Uh, if you don't have a, a premium account, you cannot use this. 
is kind of a bummer, but it's totally worth it, especially if you do a lot of commuting like I do. Um, I'm on the road a lot, so uh, I'm always streaming music in my car. Uh, so yeah, that's Karoy's uh, HD touchpad patch for Spotify. And I suggest you all check it out and uh, seriously jump in and get this thing on your touchpad if you've got premium.